So now let's talk about the naive base uh, model. So naive base model is based on the uh, base theorem that we just mentioned earlier, um, based on that formula. However, it is a simplified uh, base theorem model. So that that's why we call it naive. Let's see one more example. So let's say that go back to our um, uh, data set so that we have the house type, year that house been built, and also price. So for example, if we want to predict the house type, so that will be a classification um, problem. So how can we convert that one into a probability problem? That is that, so if the house, for example, if the house is built in this year at the selling price of this, so what is a house type? So what is a house type? So to answer that, actually we need, we know that there are four type house, condo, single family home, townhouse, and also land or lot. So we need to calculate the probability on each type of the house, so each possible categories of our target, of our label. So first we calculate the P that um, the house is condo on the condition that is built in this year and also at this price. And next we calculate P that this house is a single family on the condition it's built in this year on that price. Next, we do that for the condo on the condition that built in this year at this price, and also land allowed on the condition that the house is built in this year and also on this price. So we do the calculation for each single record. So for each single record, we calculate the P for those four types of the houses. And finally, so the prediction will be that which one that has the maximal probability. So for example, in this case, if the condo probably 0 0.5, a single family 0.3, and land lot, and also the other is 0 0.1, and we will predict, okay, so this record, it, it will be a condo. Okay, so that is how the knife, uh, the, the base theorem will make the prediction. However, as I mentioned that we are going to simplify the model so that we are going to be naive, which means that in naive base, we assume that the presence of each feature are independent of each other, conditional on the target. Okay, so put that one in English. So that means that, so remember we need to calculate this part so we assume that uh, we see a house that built in this year and this price on the condition that the house is condom equals that the house is built in this year on the condition that is condom times the probability that house at this price on the condition that house is condom. Okay, we know that so those two will be independent of e with each other, that is not true in the real world. However, we just be naive here. We just assume that they are independent. And it turns out that by using this assumption, it can first simplify the calculation. Secondly, the result is pretty good, especially when we, when we are using naive base to classify the texts like to, to check whether or not an email is spam or not. So it's pretty good. And also, this part is also constant for all the houses, so we can actually do not need to calculate that one. So back to our uh, formula. So when we want to calculate the, the house that is condom on the condition of this one, we need to calculate this. And because this part is all the same, so we don't need to calculate this. And this part, we assume that equals to this part, so that we simplify that one as this. Okay, so we simplify this as this. And together with P of each house type, so that means that when we want to decide whether or not the house is condom 
single family or townhouse landlord on the condition of year that has been built and also the price, we actually need to calculate the probability that house of the house of each single type and also the house that has been built year and also on the condition of each single type and the price of the house on the condition of each single type. So that's only three probabilities that we need to, to calculate this probability. Okay. Again, <clears throat> so what we really need will be that the probability of the house being built per house type, the probability of the house, the price per house type, and also the probability of the house type. So those are the three variables we need for our classification. And based on the data, we can have those distributions. Okay, so we can have those distributions and we can convert the distribution to the probability. Okay, so we can convert those distribution into the probability. Okay, and the next we will have the result. So here we can see that uh, for the first record, the confidence of the P that being a condo is this, being a single family is this, being a townhouse is this, and being a land is this. So the highest is condo, so that the predict result is also condo. For the second record, being a single family is the highest, so that it's predict as a single family home. Okay, so we convert the distribution into probability. So let's take example that uh, in ripe minor. So let's open ripe minor and let's create a new folder. Let's call it lecture seven. And here we are going to try naive bay. So let's bring the house price from our previous lab and let's create a naive bay model. So let's first select the attribute and we are going to select the house type price and also years that have been built and the house type will be our label okay the house type will be our label and next let's apply naive bay so if you search naive and you can see naive bay model is here and let's apply that okay and let's see how the model will look like and also the original result. Okay, so this is the original result, and that is a model. Okay, and if you look at the chart, so we can say that those are the PDF, if you remember that probability distribution for the house that's been built, year of being built in each single house type, okay, condo, single family, townhouse, and also landlord. So that is how we calculate the p-values. And if you look at the price, so we also calculate the price, okay, for each single uh, house type. So you can see that uh, the average price uh, for the townhouse, the average price uh, for the landlord, and also average price for the single family home. Okay, so now we have, we simulate that one as, so we convert the distribution into probability. If you look at the distribution, so let's go to the uh, histogram. Okay. So now you can see that this is the distribution uh, for the price. And based on the distribution, we are able to calculate the probability. Okay, so based on the distribution, we are able to calculate the probability. And so once we have the probabilities for everything that we need, we bring that one to the formula and we can calculate the probability of that house being each single type of house. And then we choose a winner that has the highest probability and that will be our prediction.